Hello from Norfolk in England. This is Faithji. This video is about the British Cactus and Succulent Society membership. I got into succulents um, last summer, 2017. I got addicted to them. And for a while I was thinking about joining the British Cactus and Succulent Society. You can join if you're in any other part of the world. You don't have to be in Britain or Ireland. There are usually groups within Ireland and Northern Ireland and Britain. There are usually groups, local groups, that you can visit once a month. My nearest one is about an hour's drive from me and because I don't have great health I don't th I won't be able to always get there I might be able to attend a meeting or two which I would love to do because since my chronic pain and disability began from the injury 10 years ago it's over 10 years ago I've been pretty I've been living pretty much as a hermit yeah I was thinking of joining um, for a few months now I wanted to make sure that I really wanted to do it and knowing that I wouldn't be able to attend each monthly meeting hasn't deterred me because I really do love succulents and there's a few cacti that I'm interested in too. The main reason I'm not interested in cacti, the majority of cacti, is that the prickles are quite lethal, <laughs> the prickles are quite dangerous not lethal and I have kept cacti before I began keeping cacti when I was a child and my granddad my dad's dad who was a gardener and an artist and the adult who was most important in my childhood oh I loved him dearly I wish he'd lived longer anyway he was the one who introduced me to plants in general and to cacti. I hadn't even heard of succulents back then. This was the mid 80s. <laughs> I'm going off onto another route but this is a lovely story. He presented me this beautiful terrarium which he'd filled with the proper sand, nice clean sand and some stones and he put a few cacti in there for me and I still have this terrarium today I will um I haven't filled any plants in it strangely enough it's standing empty in my bedroom I'll fill it up with some plants <clears throat> and I will show you it it's beautiful it's a beautiful glass house with lots of different panels on it lots of different sides on it I was how old was I probably 11 11 years old and I was delighted with this gift from him just delighted anyway since last summer I've rediscovered succulents all cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. So I rediscovered the succulents, the ones which are mainly not prickly. Because I hate pricking myself. <laughs> okay. Um, back to the membership. Yes, within the week, this happens so quickly. They, they are brilliant there. I thoroughly recommend joining. Within the week, I received my welcome pack, which I am going to show you. <laughs> Got it all laid out here. This is a belated birthday present from my mum. So thank you, mum. I also subscribe to the Bradleya, which is part of the uh, charity, part of the society which is a charity and money going there 
goes towards research concerning succulents. I hope I've got that right. Now I'm going to show you what I received. Oh. As I just said, I received it within the week. Right. This is what you get if you're new though. This is my first time of joining. And John, my fiance, is an associate member because he's not really into plants, but he does support me. And obviously, um, if I go anywhere, he usually comes along. Most times comes with me because um, of my walking, of my walking, because of my walking problems. My body suddenly freezes up and I can't move forward, so I don't feel very safe going out alone on, anymore. Okay, this is what I got. Right, um, it came in this plastic packet. So it's nice and waterproof and dirt proof. None of it's folded up. It arrives beautifully. It really does. Beautifully presented. So that's the packet. I haven't really gone through this in detail because um, it only arrived yesterday and then I got stuck on looking at all the seeds on the seed list. You get a membership card and you get a free pen. With, with the logo, with a society written on the pen, you also get a window sticker, which is great if you have a car, like me. You get get your new membership details printed out, your name and address, your email, your phone number, the type of membership and your membership number which is important if you go to any meetings or any correspondence with them you need that membership number. You get, you get some exciting free seeds. These are the ones I got. These are all cacti, not succulents. You get a seed list. This is just for members. And they're excellently priced. They're only 30 pence a packet. And I was going through this for about four hours yesterday. Picking out the ones that looked interesting. Writing their names in the search engines to find out their care and what they look like. Oh, there's a an advert for someone's bookshop, Cactus Books, and you get information about who the members are, the chairman, vice chairman, secretary, treasurer, membership secretary, so on and so forth, and you get a list of where the meetings are held. Okay, we get a list of constitution and rules and we get a welcome pack information sheets telling you about the society oh the society was formed in 1983 by the amalgamation of two earlier societies the national cactus and succulent society which was founded in 1945 and the Cactus and Succulent Society of Great Britain, 
which was founded earlier in 1931. Shortly after its formation, the BCSS registered as a charity with the declared aims of promoting the conservation and study of the plants and education. The society caters for a wide range of interest levels, from the beginner to the professional botanist. There are more than 70 branches, which are self-sustaining. And it goes on and tells you a bit more. Oh, you get um, a quarterly journal, Cactus World. Membership runs from January to the end of December. Look. Some sheets on cacti. Look at this one. It's enormous. The people are that high. <laughs> This is beautifully presented. It's so beautiful. Succulents, other succulents, aloe, gasteria, haworthia, lithops, living stones, cherry dopsis, that's living stones, and conophintum, living stones. Propagation. This is all advice. Information about pests and diseases. Oh gosh, that's um, that's a four-page booklet. <gasps> Nobody wants pests on their plants, on their beloved plants. Containers, composts and repotting. Seed raising. Again, this is a four page booklet. Look at this beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the growing year. It's about each of the months. Where can I grow them? Growing Missems. Wow, look at those. Aren't they amazing? They're from Africa. Amazing. Those. That's a little booklet again. That's amazing what you get. It's excellent value. Oh, I love, I love her worthiers. I just do. I really like her worthiers. I've only got one or two. High school pyads. Wow, look at that weird flower. The yellow one there. And a star shaped. Star, a starfish shape. One. God, you get some weird ones. Forest cacti. Oh, these are the Christmas and Easter cacti. 
further information and further information sources. <laughs> you even get a prepaid envelope. Amazing. And look, a lovely clear plastic wallet to put it all in and keep it safe. It's amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I joined. Really am. And I, I recommend it to you if you love succulents or cacti or both. Please give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Why not comment? I do love the comments. And if you haven't already, and you would like to see more videos, why not subscribe? Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm recording, darling. I was actually on a roll. <laughs> Could you make us some coffee? Sure. I'd be lovely. <laughs> The okay grill. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Where was I? Whoop. Sean just brought me coffee. Thank you, darling. A coffee boy. Yes. Can you reach over there? Of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my coffee. How was it? Well, I'm, I'm in the middle. Oh, let's just check it. Just check it out. Baby boy keeps leaping on me. Mmm, it's nice. I can die happy now. <laughs>